Hi, I'm Brandi Machado. Hi, I'm Asasana Villalobos. And today we're going to show you how to do derivatives, integrals, definite integrals, and some other calculator stuff on the TI-89 Titanium! And I will be showing you how to do definite integrals, zeros, intersects, maximums, and minimums on the TI-83+. Plus. To do a definite integral on the TI-83+, plus, you have to press the button math and then 9 and that will give you the definite integral symbol. <laughs> then you put in the equation. After the equation, since it's with respect to x, you go comma, x, and then comma, put the limits of integration, and then close the parentheses, and then press enter, and that will give you your integral. And to do the zeros, you graph your graph, and then you go second, and then press trace, and that will be second calc, and then you press 2 to get 0, then you'll go to the left bound, so wherever your 0 is going to be, you go to the left side of it, and you press enter, then you do the right bound, press where the right side of it would be, press enter, and then it'll say guess, and press enter, and that'll give you your 0. To find an intersect of two graphs, you go second, trace, and then you press 5 to give you the intersect to find it. You put the cur first curve, you press enter, and then it'll say second curve, press enter, and then guess. Press enter, and it'll tell you the intersect value. Find a minimum. You have to graph your graph. Then you go second, trace, which will be calc. It'll say calculate menu, and then you press 3 to get minimum. Wherever your minimum is going to be, you go left bound, press enter, and then go to the right of the point, and it'll say right bound, press enter, and then it'll say guess, press enter, and that'll give you your minimum value. For the maximum, you do the same thing, you go second calc, and now you're going to press, in the calculate menu, press 4, and that'll give you to find your maximum, and then you go to the left side of it, it'll say left bound, press enter, Go to the right side, it'll say right bound, press enter, and then guess, and press enter again, and that'll give you your maximum value. To do an indefinite integral, make sure you're on the home screen, then press F3, select integrate number 2. Then, in the parentheses, you put the function, comma, x, the x represents the dx in the integral function, close parentheses. It should be noted that the answer that the calculator gives you does not have a plus c, so don't forget to add the plus c when you write the answer down, because if the dx is like the period at the end of the sentence, then the plus c is like the question mark at the end of a question. To do a definite integral, press F3 and select integrate. Then in the parentheses you do the function, comma, x, comma, lower bound, comma, upper bound, and then close the parentheses and press enter. If you find that none of the answers are in decimal form, then you, you can find the exact answer by pressing mode. Then you scroll down until you get to exact slash approximate and then you press the right arrow key and select exact which should be number two and then press enter and then press enter again and then make sure your previous problem is highlighted and press enter and you will get the exact fraction version of your answer but don't forget to switch back to approximate because it can be really annoying when it says two pi equals two pi to do a derivative, press F3, and then select differentiate, number 1, and then in the parentheses you put the function, comma, x, and then close the parentheses. To find the slope of the tangent line on a graph, go to your graph, and then press F5, and then scroll down to number 6 where it says derivatives, and then press the right arrow key, and select dy dx, and then plug your point in and it'll find the slope of the tangent line at that particular point. The biggest difference between the TI-89 and the TI-83 is that on the TI-89 the cover slips from the bottom and on the TI-83 the cover slips from the top.